Just a few short days ago, high winds caused wildfires to spread across the state of Colorado. Flames ripped through neighborhoods, burned down homes, and tonight, survivors are just counting their blessings as they slowly start to pick up the pieces of these catastrophic fires. One family thankful to be alive after the fires tore through their home. They're just two weeks away from expecting their first child, baby girl. Joining us right now, Stephen Wenzel. He's here to tell us more about how he and his wife escaped the fires. Where are you guys right now, Stephen? Hey, thanks, Amy. Yeah, so I'm uh, in Louisville, kind of hanging around, trying to find a place to live right now. So driving around and trying to find a place to bring my little baby home to and get my wife back and uh, so we can settle in and try to put everything behind us. Take us back to when this happened. What was it like? How much warning did you have to get out of the way? Absolutely very little. Uh, I was actually at lunch with a colleague of mine about five minutes from the house. Uh, about 11.30, we were notified that the fire had started. Didn't think really much of it. Um, wildfires, grass fires happen all the time in Colorado. And we thought it was just another one as we put out. Um, we kept getting calls from employees, from friends, letting us know that, hey, it's getting worse. And finally someone said, hey, I think it's by your house. Time to go get your wife. And so I uh, started to rush back home, tried to get a hold of my wife. Cell signal was uh, just non-existent uh, based on the fact that the towers uh, were being utilized for emergency services. Um, finally got my wife away, got her up, got her to start moving. Um, by the time I made it to the house, which was about five minutes later, she was pulling out of the driveway. Uh, I couldn't even see her six feet in front of me. Um, from okay. there, we believe our house caught on fire really shortly after. Uh, I made it to my place of work, started to evacuate my place of work, um, and made it out about an hour later. So from start to finish, about 35 minutes from the time that the fire ignited to uh, my place of business and my house uh, were engulfed. I mean, it's literally jaw-dropping to hear the story. As you're processing this and just now getting ready to be a dad for the first time, um, how are you wrapping your mind around this? This is a pretty heavy situation. You now have your home burned right. to the ground. Yeah. You know, right now it's just day by day. Uh, thank God for getting us out alive and for having the opportunity to be here, to be present uh, when my wife does deliver our little baby girl, Claire. Um, just thanking everybody from our family, from our friends, to complete strangers uh, for their gratitude and generosity. Um, and then just trying to figure out how to pick up the pieces. Um, there's never such an empty feeling like the one when uh, you realize that you have nothing and you have to take care of someone that you've never done before uh, in less than two weeks. So um, just day by day. Um, as far as your home and your property, is it a total loss? Have you been able to even get a look at it? So we've been told it's a total loss. Uh, thanks to satellite imagery, we have seen um, that our neighborhood is not standing anymore. We're from the Sagamore community, mm -hmm. uh, which all 370 homes have been confirmed lost by the sheriff. Um, National Guard is still uh, protecting the area. Um, they determined that it's just not safe enough for the community to be turned to, and it's just not something the community should see right at the moment. We know that your good friend has set up a GoFundMe page to help you and your wife out. We're going to put it up on the screen. Um, what do you want to say to everybody that has donated and also what you have seen really for the community there in Louisville, Superior, the Boulder area? This is a tight-knit community. I mean, people here know their neighbors. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, to your first point, I just want to say thank you. Thank you with every inch, with everything that I have for the help. Um, I know that, that my child my family uh, will make it through this and then we'll be able to walk my daughter uh, into a home one day uh, because of their generosity. Uh, for the community, um, today's day one. Today's the day that we start rebuilding. Uh, it's not going to be an easy, it's not going to be a fast task. Uh, many months, many years. Uh, uh, but until then, just keep all of us in your thoughts and your prayers. Um, don't I mean just continue with the support and uh, we will build back. And as far as the short term for you, where will you and your family stay tonight, for example? Yeah, so fortunately I have family in the northern Colorado area we're staying. Uh, my wife is currently on the way back to Houston, Texas, where her, her family is from. Give her a child and kind of have a comfortable place to be uh, for the next few weeks. Um, that, it'll, it'll all depend on where we go. Uh, we're hoping to find some place. I'll join her in the next couple days, and we'll go from there. We thank you for taking the time to share your story. We're so glad that you're okay. We wish you the very best, uh, you and your wife and baby Claire. Thanks for taking uh, some moments to share the story, and we will follow up with you.
Absolutely. Thank you so much, Amy. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.